welcome to Walk Like You Talk TV. I'm your host, V. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. So welcome to this beautiful Tuesday, uh, which is August 3rd. Um, I want to call this Be Grateful. It's actually a song, but um, it's a, one of the probably the greatest gospel songs that I've heard because of just how it ministers to me. But um, just be grateful because... There's always somebody who has it worse than you. And it says, be grateful. Because there's someone that would love to be in your shoes. So just be grateful. You know, um, it's funny because, well, it's not funny, but I lost a friend that I consider a friend. I didn't, like, really know him, but it was uh, someone that I follow um, on social media. And, you know, um, someone that I would inspire. Um, and that was actually ins inspirational to me, too, because they were going through uh, cancer and it was at, the, you know, its last stage. And um, the way that this husband and wife stuck through it and um, the pain that was attacking um, her body but her faith was really strong. And I mean, to go through the pain she had to deal with with her physical body, her spirit was always, uh, it, 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 it appeared to always be never in pain and always to be inspirational. And, um, you know, to speak about our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, our Savior and how good that he's been to her, to us, you know, um, to everyone. And it, it, it's a sad thing to, you know, when you lose somebody cause it has a profound, um, effect on you and you just remember whatever it was, whatever moment, whatever kind of blessing it was that you share with people in general, you don't necessarily have to hang out with them to have that. Sometimes a connection, sometimes a, a mental connection, uh, uh, online connection is sometimes stronger than your physical connections in your life sometimes. And, uh, you know, it's funny. It's funny that way, like how God will really put people together and the purposes that he put people together for, you know, and really, to be honest with you, the way I see it, God puts us together to encourage one another, you know, period, you know, because we don't know what that person's going through. They don't know what we're going through. But as time progresses, you end up sharing. And once you share, you realize that people can help you in an area that you need help in and vice versa, you know, which is kind of why I feel that Jesus sent the disciples out in pairs because different issues required different personalities different testimonies from the disciples because once again where one is strong the other may be weak but where one is weak the other will be strong and so it's like when we just talk to one another you know um I, i'm not a theologian i'm not anything i don't pretend to be anything that i'm not you know but I have a desire and a sincere passion for people. And let me tell you, I haven't always had that. You know, like, it was the opposite of that. But God has been working in my life, in my family's life, and he is just amazing. And for that, I'm grateful. I am to be grateful you know, we we go through so many ups and downs and we go through so many changes and changes rearrange you at times. And but if you have a passion for God and to imitate God, then you take those changes and rearrange them for the better. So. 
I just want to tell you guys literally that you never know when the last time you're going to see someone, hear from someone. You know, you never know when their time is going to expire. We just know it's going to expire. Um, encourage that person today that you need to encourage. Them. That person that's on your heart, be a blessing to them today. Not tomorrow, today. Um, the pro they, Well, I won't even call them problems. Let's change the word problems and we're going to call them challenges. Uh, the challenges that you face... Face them gratefully because you know that God is with you. You know that he's in you and you know that he's going to get you through. It's not the first challenge he's got you through. It ain't going to be the last. When you're being attacked and you're being attacked super hard, just know that the enemy wants to crush you. He wants to kill you. He wants to steal from you. But it just means that you're really close to a breakthrough. God has you so close and that's why the devil fights harder and harder to attack you so be grateful be grateful take every day that you got that you're given and do the best with it that you can so with that being said this is Tuesday treat it like yesterday hit it super super hard you know like we got to be like a pro player we got to be like a pro athlete. We got to be like a professional actor or professional, you know, any profession, you know, whether it's a lawyer, whether it's whatever you want to, whatever you want to consider professional. Okay. Push it to the limit. Okay. And pray. Like I said, if you got to go to the bathroom and you got to lay hands on yourself, pray and lay hands on yourself, do that. Okay. Do that. God lives in you. He's with you. He's always with you. Okay? You don't need to wait for someone to give you whatever you feel you need. God will give that to you all the time. Lay hands on yourself. Pray for yourself. Okay? So be grateful because there's someone who's worse off than you. Be grateful because there's someone that's dying to be in your shoes no matter what it looks like. So I love you guys. Just know that I'm praying for you. You can pray for me and have a beautiful Tuesday and push it to the limit. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen.